that young man gets into sports journalism. He's always got a job here. Exactly. Call us for an internship. Yeah. What about what's going on this weekend, Lisa? Well, there is a lot going on this weekend, Brian. Music and theater are actually the theme of this week's What's to Do report. First to a well-known Broadway musical brought to life right here in the Hudson Valley. Tale as old as time, song as old as rhyme. Yes, that's Beauty and the Beast. I'm not going to sing to make anybody upset, but you can go into the enchanted world of the Disney classic. It's on stage at the Westchester Broadway Theater now through August 2nd. Also on stage, the Rugrats. This weekend is the new musical production based on the popular Nickelodeon cartoon. The live adventure show stars 30 talented local kids, and you can see it this weekend at River Space Arts in Nyack. Hooray for Hollywood. This is a free event at Summer's Library. You're going to hear tunes from hit movies from local singers, and this is Saturday, Sunday rather, at 3 o'clock. <laughs> or you can rock out with some local moms. Performers from all over the Hudson Valley will hit the stage in Valhalla for Mama Palooza. There's plenty of fun activities and entertainment for dad and the kids, too. Saturday from 10 to 5 at Kensico Dam Plaza in Valhalla. There's also the 5th Annual Yoho Open Artist Studio this weekend. You can check out paintings, sculptures, photography, even jewelry, and then interact directly with the artists Saturday and Sunday, noon to 5. Now, there are also some walks this weekend to raise money for a good cause. First to the Arthritis Foundation. This is a fundraiser Saturday at Tibbetts Brook Park in Yonkers. There's also a walk for multiple sclerosis in Rockland County. This one is a Bear Mountain State <laughs> Or another big event this weekend, the Shad Fest at Crone Point Park from 11 to 5 Sunday. And in Yonkers, there is a Memorial Day parade kicking off Sunday. Hundreds expected to turn out to honor the nation's fallen heroes. And now we turn to some movie news. Now, last weekend, Iron Man was number one. But this weekend, there is a new flick looking to take the top spot. 